Welcome back, Ancient Fans. It's your favorite attack speed DPS PLC. And uh, we're doing some blind bags. You know that it's the full moon tonight, so I can't leave you without um, bl blind bags, because that's one, when I once a full moon. Every full moon is when I do blind bags. So, we got some really cool ones here. Let's go uh, open them up, and then we'll come back here and uh, do that. We're outside. We're in the yard. Out in the middle of nowhere to open this bad boy and it should be um 36 uh to be determined minifigures uh version 140 uh i got all these numbers here and if you know what that means and you can kind of peek at it here underneath these are the muppets so this is how you open one of these boxes um this is a sealed box of 36 muppets uh minifigures You've got three tabs. Um, there's actually instructions on the top. The first instruction is upside down. And then the second one, you flip it around and you can see that one too. So, Anyways, um, it's pretty simple. Is you uh, lift these two. One, two. And then you push. And it lifts up. So... Let's try it. So, one tab up. Oop, I can see figures already. One tab up. And then around this side, push. And it's separated, you can see it. And this should just um, drop. So, yeah. If it was open the correct way, you should just see the one piece of the outer box on there. And if not, whatever. So, I think that's the front. It's uh, five plus Muppets and, um, oh, that one's that a little wild, but let's count them up real coarsely. One, two, three. Eight, five, five, six, seven, eight, that one was a little tucked in, wasn't it? Anyways, let's go up to, uh, let's go back to the studio and, and open a couple of these bad boys, because it's, it's Minifigure Friday. As you know, it's the first time I'm opening any Muppets bags. It's the first time I'm opening blind bags in a while, so let's take a random sampling, because I have a feeling that several in a row are going to be the same one. So I think if we go one here, let's pick one of these upside down ones. I think those are from this side. So let's go two, one in the back, three, and another one in the back, four. So I think those are the four for today. And, um... You know, I'm, ex I'm excited for these ones. I'm going to be honest with you. I, uh, I'm hoping, obviously, well, okay. First of all, I bought a full box. I know I've got a full set, at least one full set. And I would be very, very surprised if I don't have three full sets because that's how many come in a box. Using the safety, super safety, safety razor, we're going to go ahead and cut into all of these. Remember, actually use a real safety razor. Don't be like me and use the one that's just named safety razor so let's open this one first damn we scratched up the recording pan of destiny again what do you do first up all right we got a classic coming in first nice <laughs> we got bunsen honeydew what a nice simple figure and okay his face is absolutely mad but like but look at him Look at him. So it's like printing is definitely realistically usable for just like any kind of scientist, pharmacist, anything. His legs are a little weird. All the okay, that's maybe the biggest complaint is that you don't see and even in the packaging they don't show you the the Muppet's legs because you just don't see Muppet's legs that often like Sweetums maybe or something, but like all the generic ones aren't. It's fun that it's dual printed or whatever on the legs, is it? Hmm, yeah, so hmm. it's a single color. It's not dual molded. It's single color, and you can tell that because the top of the toes is not printed. Uh, but they printed on two of the sides of the legs. Yep, not the inside of the legs. Um, 
black for shoes, so that's fun. I'm not sure. There's a lot of them in here with mid legs, and I hope to find a use for them. Maybe I'll make dwarves or goblins or something that use them. Uh, this one's slightly weird because they've got the white print for his lab coat in his like one leg piece. It does. It's not on the hip piece. It's on the leg. Which okay. And of course, the Eisenmeiser flask. It's an it's a simple accessory and it's been used so many times, but it's nice. And we got of course talk about the sculpt on the head. I I'm so torn on so many of them. Some of the angles are just weird, like this one. But I think he looks fine from the front. And actually, really, really you should be looking at them kind of like this. I think most of them look best when you kind of just look down over the front of them. So let's put him aside. Let's open the next one here, guys. Wow. So, I'm going to be honest with you, I don't know if I know the difference between Waldorf and Stan Stanler. Hmm, not even confident on that one, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, but I think that, uh, again, such a reasonable print. Such a reasonable print, and it's going to be a little dark in my current setup, ain't it? Zoom in. Enhance. Enhance. Come on, you. Well, we didn't get an enhance. Oops. Anyways, it's a simple suit. Uh, the legs are nice. They've got just a little bit of detail in them uh, with the boots or shoes or whatever. And then the face, he's got the big ball chin. And that's, uh, I don't know. It's fine. Backside doesn't have anything. Yeah, no, nothing. It's, it's hard on these the dark ones to do that. And then he comes with a computer. It's a book, though, actually. I don't know if you can, if you if you saw that before, but it's the new printed book pieces. Uh, but this one's to represent a computer because it's got a keyboard for a page and then a scooter web page up. So Scooter made it in uh, by the skin of his actual teeth. Scooter is included in the series as a cameo, which maybe is the rudest thing they've done to any of the Muppets in this series, let's be honest. Okay. So this is, this is a big one here. Big get. We got Fozzie Bear, and I will say, I like Fozzie. I was hoping, obviously, to get him because I had to get all of them because I got the whole thing. Um, and I'm gonna, I'm going to say, controversially, the side printing is nice, the back printing is reasonable, and the legs are fine. But he's perhaps one of the least usable uh, prints. I don't know what you're gonna want an ascot on your uh, nougat. Terrible with all those flesh colors. Comes with a banana. That's nice. Too many pieces for a microphone stand. Um, are microphone stands over? Are we done with them yet? I guess not, because here's another one. But, like, uh, we get it. Like, microphone stands are simple enough and, and, like, obviously represent a lot about a character that they would want to have that as their included accessory or, or would be appropriate for them. Uh, but we've gotten it a lot of times in a lot of figures, and, you know... I'm thinking we could just pick anything else. A microphone by itself is fine. Maybe give us a new print on one. Last one for today, guys. <gasps> it's my boy! Alright, alright. So, Kermit the Frog is here. And again, I think he looks mediocre as hell when you look at him like directly straight into his eyes. Um, and I don't know, not the worst. He doesn't look good from that angle. But I think he looks really reasonable from, like, this angle. Um, I like the printing. I like that he doesn't have printed legs, honestly. This is perhaps, though, the most important part about him, is the fact that he does come with the banjo. And, uh, it's a simple print. And it's a simple-ish mold compared to some of the other molds that we've gotten for things. But I think it's very important. Uh, always love getting more musical instruments. It's just one of those things that, like, we've never had so many musical instruments. And all of a sudden we're getting so many. And then you do get the rainbow macaroni towel. Could be honest, didn't research it. But uh, comment if this is the same macaroni rainbow tile that's included in the dots and stuff. Don't know if it is, honestly. I know we've got another rainbow tiles, so I wouldn't be surprised if it is. Uh, I'll mark off the checklist by myself. 
All right, guys, and a huge shout out to all the channel members. You're the reason that I make terrible decisions uh, because you support me in doing this as a dream, a far off moonshot of a dream that I could become uh, the number one on YouTube again. But uh, anything could happen, couldn't it? So, Calcium, Private Cheeseburger, Crystal J, Heligo Kenti on B, Tyler, Scott of Grunts. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to be working on making a better area to, to do reviews and stuff. And I've just been busy and tired. I'm going to be honest with you. I haven't felt like cleaning and, and unpacking and stuff. Uh, look forward to the, <laughs> to the, the Spain haul that's coming at some point. You know who you are. Get excited for that. And um, I've got a couple other videos kind of in the works. And we'll... We'll, we'll keep doing stuff. Don't I'm here. Don't be sad. Anyways, on screen is a um, automatic video is somewhere and there's a subscribe button and then one that I handpicked for you. It's very important that you understand that I handpicked it and um, su support your local Lego channel. I'm fine.